What we have a, is a multidisciplinary approach to the management of patients with what we call hepatobiliary pancreatic cancers. So these are malignant, these are actually tumors, they can be malignant or benign, that can arise anywhere within your liver, your bile ducts, or your pancreas. And some of these tumors are what we call primary, and that they arise originally in those organs, or they could be secondary or metastatic. And, and an example would be that of somebody with colon cancer who has spread of the cancer to the liver, and we would then ad address that tumor in, in that circumstance. We see small children with uh, tumors of their youth. It could be something that would be like, could be an unfortunate lesion of a child, a two-year-old with hepatoblastoma. It could be an elderly patient with uh, a liver cancer in their cirrhotic liver. And there's a wide range of patients in between there. Some are malignant, some are benign, um, in varying the stages of their disease. Then the therapies that we offer um, are quite comprehensive. And I think what's unique about us is that not only do we have really what I think is an extraordinarily talented group of surgeons who are capable of addressing all of these types of lesions safely, but we combine that with uh, by partnering with uh, all of our colleagues in other areas of gastroenterology, oncology, interventional radiology, pathology, and radiology. And together we try to make a unique and individualized plan for every specific patient. And then we can provide that level of expertise to that individual. We can offer them major th surgical therapies, transplantation, liver resectional therapy. Uh, we can combine that with a variety of medical treatments. We can combine that with interventional radiology, ablative therapies like radiofrequency, cryotherapy, um, you know, laparoscopic treatments, uh, radiation treatments, medical, uh, you know, chemotherapy. And we try to pick really the best possible combination of these various treatments for each individual patient. Because we have a very, our tool belt is not just a hammer and everything isn't a nail. We have a very large tool belt with a lot of different tools that I think we're very good at using all of them. For some patients, you know, the treatments are very concrete. It's very basic, it's very standard. Um, there isn't a lot of conversation about what the best treatment is. It's pretty straightforward. But for a lot of patients, they end up in the gray zone. You know, oftentimes you have to combine what the patient and family's expectations are with the type of therapies that you can provide. And so different patients and families want different things and you try to sort of customize that approach to under each circumstance. It doesn't it isn't apply to everything, but for some patients, particularly for a lot of malignancies, you know, everything isn't set in stone. You know, a lot of these things are not that structured and, and individual, customized, you know, personal approach to these things is really very, very important. The therapies you offer to somebody who's 85 years old may not be the same therapies you offer to somebody who's 35 years old. The diseases may be similar, but the therapies may be different. And so by having this sort of large tool belt and ability to individualize treatments, we can, I think, come up with what I would consider a very comprehensive, very thoughtful approach to each individual patient. We've had this opportunity to develop an, a unique and really high level of surgical ex expertise over the past 25 years. As a, com as a consequence of doing liver transplantation and liver surgery uh, that relates to it. So that ha provides us with a very unique skill set. So we're able to do these very complex, very aggressive surgical procedures safely for patients so they can benefit from that. We then combine that with sort of the intellectual horsepower of our gastroenterologists, our onco medical oncologists, radiologists, and pathologists who can help us formulate a very individualized and unique plan for every single patient because every patient obviously brings their own unique circumstances so that we can then offer them the best possible treatment for their very specific situation. You know, one of the things that I consider to be very fortunate for people like myself and other members of the team is that we're in Nebraska. You know, people have always said, you know, maybe if maybe you're in Nebraska, you know, what's so good about that? But I say well, that's actually one of the strongest points we have going here because this place is filled with Nebraskans. And so for patients that come from outside of here, you really do get a very warm, personal approach to these things. This is an incredibly stressful time for patients and their families. This may be arguably the most definitive moment of their lives. Off for many of these patients, they are being told they have a terrible disease, possibly a fatal disease, and they're coming to us for some sort of hope or cure. And under those circumstances, this experience will be seared into their brains for their entire lives. And as a consequence, I think this environment really 
is a very safe place for them. They, they sense that. They know that. They, they know that people are paying attention to them. They know they're getting good treatment. They know that we will respond to their questions and concerns. And so and we combine that with what I consider an extraordinarily high level of expertise, both surgically and medically, and all the various uh, uh, groups associated with us. So you combine those things together, it makes for a very powerful and very effective uh, place for patients to come for care.